John Wall risks becoming a forgotten NBA superstar lost to the sands of time. After recent events, which we'll talk about later in the video, here's the rise and the downfall of John Wall. His career started when he declared for the NBA draft, leaving Kentucky in 2010 and becoming the first overall pick in that draft, picked by the Washington Wizards, a team who were gasping for relevance and Wall looked like being the key to bring them back to the glory not felt in the city since the late 70s when the then Bullets won the NBA championship headed by Wes Unseld. Wall would make an instant impact averaging 17 points per game and just a tick below 8 assists per contest throughout his first three seasons, helping the team build an upwards trajectory each year that he was on the team. 2014 would be a breakthrough year for the Wizards who led by Wall made the playoffs for the first time in his career, winning 44 games and pushing the peak Pacers team that often challenged LeBron James in the Heat to six games, losing 4-2 in the conference semis. However, the Wizards will continue building on this into the year 2015, where they finish with a 46 and 36 record, the best franchise record in 36 years, when in 1979 they went 54 and 28. The Wizards will cruelly fall short in Game 6 of the conference semifinals against the first seeded Atlanta Hawks, courtesy of, a, uh, of three wins by less than five points for the Hawks, and then a Game 6 buzzer beater that was ruled off but and it was made by Paul Pierce which ultimately sent the Wizards home in the second round. Now just a quick break from the video if you're enjoying the video please comment don't forget to like the video and if you could just pause the video now and subscribe to the channel I'd really appreciate it and without further to say about that let's continue with the video. While the whole league was consumed with a lack of parity and unfairness going on in the Western Conference in 2016-17, with that being the first year of Kevin Durant in the Warriors, the Wizards led by John Wall averaging a remarkable 23 points and nearly 11 assists per contest, posting a career best 45% from the field, would do some work, going on a run to finish the season 49-33 and with a 32-15 and record in their last 47 games cruising into the playoffs with the fifth seed, where in the first round they would dump the pesky Hawks who had beaten them two years earlier out in the first round in six games, advancing to the conference semis to play the Boston Celtics, who were seen as a challenger to come out of the East, of course, against LeBron James and the Cavs. And despite dropping the first two games of the series, John Wall and Bradley Bill and Marcin Gortat, along with the rest of the Wizards, would find themselves down 89-91 to with seconds left in Game 6, where John Wall would hit a long three-point shot go-ahead basket to give them the win with three seconds left, winning 92-91, to forcing Game 7 and potentially a pathway to the conference finals for the first time in what seemed like forever. The Wizards would have a half-time lead in Game 7 at the TD Garden, but narrowly lose to the Boston Celtics by 10 points. Wall would post an unreal 27 points per game, alongside 10 assists per contest throughout the whole playoffs, and with some moves around the edges, it seemed likely that the Wizards could surely contend with the core of John Wall and Bradley Bill over the coming years. However, that would be the best that we'd see of John Wall for the rest of his career in his age 26 season, who over the next three NBA seasons would only feature in 79 of a possible 252 games, including one playoffs appearance. So in 2017-18, we'll see the last John Wall-esque season ever, where despite battling injury, he would help will the Wizards alongside Bradley Beal to the playoffs for the fourth time in five years, with a middling 43-39 and record, where in the playoffs, the Wizards would take a step back, losing in the first round against the LeBron Raptors in six games. The team, obviously, that was getting owned by LeBron year in, year out. Where Bill, where Bill tried his best to help John Wall, and John Wall, as he, he did the last time he was in the playoffs, averaged a remarkable 26 points and 11.5 assists per game. However, they couldn't win with the subpar supporting cast, and they would not be able to make it to the second round again. Wall would only play 32 games in the 2018-19 season and would anticlimactically play his last game in a Wizards uniform on Boxing Day of 2018 against the Detroit Pistons. Nobody knew that this setback which involved his heel needing surgery would end his season and derail his career. That, that isn't it? Oh, around a month after the heel surgery, Wall in his house, you know, a place that's normally safe and sacred for many, 
one of the least likely places to get hurt, would partially tear his Achilles, which was the worst possible injury to have as an explosive guard who used his speed to attack the basket. And because of this, his lack of a three-point shot was excusable because of the fact that he could ch uh, drive to the basket at will. He would also sit out the whole 2019-20 season with complications in his recovery, including an infection. Wall is now Albatross deal signed back in his peak the max extension would be heading to Houston in a trade alongside a first round draft pick for this year that's lottery protected and the Wizards would receive Russell Westbrook which was ultimately a smart move as it not only netted them a playoffs appearance but it also got them Kyle Kuzma a year later. In 2021 Wool would play 40 games for the Rockets but his season would be cut short due to a hamstring injury. These would be the only 40 games he played for the Rockets as he averaged a respectable 20 points and 7 assists, however on pretty poor efficiency, uh, which was a result of the injuries that had hampered his agility. Wall would be faced with the worst case scenario for an aging star in the league, as in 2021, he was made to sit out the whole season by the Rockets. But when he, he arrived in Houston, it was a completely different picture, with James Harden and Demarcus Cousins being waiting in the wings on the roster, looking like they'll be in some sort of a position to contend or be competitive. However, after the trading Harden and Wolf sitting out, the Rockets had entered rebuild mode and backcourt minutes became a priority for Jalen Green and Kevin Porter Jr. And John Wall, not helped by his terrible contract at $44 million uh, per season, would be glued to the couch at home as no team wanted to trade for him and he would spend his age 31 season one of the last years of his peak not competing for a title and that title could have very well made him more memorable to the casual NBA fan. He would finally be freed from Houston when they agreed to buy at the last year of his contract waiving him in late June with Wool giving up several millions on that deal just to be able to play basketball again the next season. He would join the playmaking desperate LA Clippers in the offseason where he would be able to relax a bit and not to carry such a load in the offense like he had to in DC. And with an extra gear off to rehab his injuries and recover his body and get back into shape and have some confidence in himself, many people thought the addition of Wall would be a major plus for the Clippers and could push them over the edge. Sadly, this was nowhere near the case, as Kawhi, as you all would know, would start their season out and Paul George would have some injuries here and there. And this would highlight the true shell of a f his former self that John Wall would become. Averaging a pitiful 11 points per game alongside 5 assists, shooting 41% from the field and 30% from 3 on low attempts, and a minus 1.3 box plus minus was the nail in the coffin, which basically meant the Clippers, who are often without Kawhi and Paul George when John Wall played, were actually better off without John Wall on the floor at all. This led to the Clippers changing things up trading for Eric Gordon, which sent John Wall out at the deadline, which as things turned out cruelly back to the Houston Rockets, which ultimately led to him being bought out of his contract, where he remains today as a free agent, unsigned after nearly a month of teams being free and able to sign him for a minimum deal. And despite several links with a return back to Washington, the reality of John Wall's career being in serious doubt was confirmed by Chris Haynes, who recently said, quote, it does not seem there, that there is a market for him as of right now, end quote. With no suitors and only getting older, alarm bells are now ringing. Sadly, the league seems to have passed John Wall by. As in his peak, he heavily relied on his athleticism to collapse the defense and finish in the paint. And while his lack of three-point shot was present, it was okay back then because he was more capable to get inside and create for himself and his teammates and finish at the basket with high percentage looks. However, his injuries did expose his lack of adapting to the modern NBA, which has drastically changed since his first year is in the league, where three-pointers have obviously taken over. And now being a guard, not being able to shoot is a big deal. Now Wall is less punishing as a playmaker due to his lack of ability to score in the interior efficiently, given the fact that he, the injuries he had sapped him of a lot of his athleticism. And now he still remains an above average playmaker for any team that may want him, but nowhere near as cunning as he was when he averaged 10.7 assists per contest in 2017. Wall could very well be another sad case of injuries robbing a player of their peak and limiting them to becoming an afterthought for many NBA fans. However, it's best to remember John Wall is an exciting player who overcame all the odds and produced one of the most memorable playoffs moments back in recent memory when he synced a game winner against the Boston Celtics to force Game 7, the closest the Wizards have been 
to the conference finals in 40 years. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment because it helps the algorithm and more people see this. And until next time, peace out.